The Witching Hour, July 12, 2024. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. That's why. So today is another day where I did not pray during the witching hour, which is 12 midnight to 3 a.m. I actually did my first prayer at, I started like just before 10 a.m. That prayer went three hours and 15 minutes, which is longer than I like to pray. I'm not sure if it was the targeting that was throwing my thoughts off or my thoughts just tend to wander, period, or a combination thereof, but it went longer than I wanted to. And at first I was complaining to the Lord, but then I realized, you know what? Okay, it's a longer prayer than what I promised the Lord, which was like two and a half hours a day, but that's fine. So I then ate, uploaded some videos to my YouTube channel and then prayed again for just under half an hour. I can tell you the thing that stands out most right now is that during the bulk of the second prayer, which was like 28 minutes or something, 27 minutes, the Lord really empowered me to speak in tongues solidly, okay? Not out loud. My lips are moving, speaking in tongues, but then in my head, I'm praying in English. It felt like someone's doing like this. What's he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying? Because what I believe the Lord has allowed me to discern is that if I pray in tongues to him while simultaneously praying in English, and he empowers me to, in my mind's I hear the spiritual language while simultaneously praying in English, he is effectively defying this program and their ability to do uh, mind control. I should not be calling it mind reading. They talk about reading, reading brain waves is what they talk about. And as I said, with paraplegic people, and I've seen two stories, and then I've seen other stories about how they read brain waves. But with the paraplegic folk who they were reading their brain waves and then turning those brain waves into words so that now these folks who are paraplegic can effectively communicate. They were not hooked up to any kind of machine. They didn't have, you know, electrodes planted all over their head. The apparatus was in the room with them, but that still effectively makes it remote what you would call perhaps remote neural monitoring or whatever, remote brainwave reading. So this is, you know, it is satanic. It is demonic. The idea of mind control, MK Ultra, which our government was doing way back like in the 50s through the 70s, and they're still doing it today. Now they're trying to use technology versus giving people substances that, you know, basically don't work for mind control. So... It is a blessing to see the Lord through the language of tongues, the heavenly language, effectively defy their ability to read my brain waves remotely. I have two beautiful neighbors. One is above me. The other beautiful neighbor is over there. And they have devices. And I can hear the devices. And I'm sure that the devices are, you know, geared towards messing with my brain waves and preventing me from praying and all this stuff. But God is defying all of it. That's really the bulk of what I need to say for this video. God bless.